Is it for DIY? Yeah. Are the instructions for DIY? Yeah. What are we going to DIY today, Lonnie? Um, my new room! Woo! Today's video is brought to you by Panasonic and the Lumix G100 Next Level Vlogging Camera. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's going to be part three of our bedroom makeover and I guess I'll call it extreme bedroom transformation because we transformed our dining room into a bedroom for our toddler. If this is the first time watching this video, um, there are two separate videos. We did the part one and part two. Before I get onto it though, I do want to welcome you guys if this is your first time here. If it is, thank you guys so much for joining me. I would love for you guys to stick around by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Just to give you guys a recap, part one, we showed you how we added the partition wall, how we added the studs, how we added the um, drywall and all that, and then part two, I took you guys along as we painted and added trim and all that. So you guys know we had all sorts of issues with this uh, round three. I can't complain. I feel like this door is really nice. There were some issues with like the um, hardware and all that. I think we got it. So you guys, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to go ahead and jump into um, part three of this video. All right, let's go. All right, you guys, so while we kind of get everything situated here, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about the Lumix camera that was sent to me by Panasonic. I was already shopping for a vlogging camera, so this came at the perfect time. A couple of my favorite things about this is that it's super lightweight, and then it comes with a tripod. When attached to the tripod, you can connect the USB straight to the camera, and you can start and stop it right from there. So I haven't really used it for picture taking, but it's supposed to take really high quality pictures if you're into photography. For me, I'm more focused on the filming, as you guys know now this is the first video that I film with this camera so I'm still learning the features but the camera itself is really convenient again because it is small and lightweight which makes it perfect for vlogging so this was the first video I used it for but I have used it since and I have it really up close and personal to the projects that I'm making that you guys will see in the next videos but the image quality is so good so it has a 4k camera which makes the image like super crystal clear and the lighting is awesome it also has 360 sound so wherever you're at it's going to catch a really good sound those are super important things for me when filming and then also i like that it has a screen that you can flip over and you can see what you're doing in it so when i have projects like on the table that i'm doing i hate not being able to see the screen on my camera and so this one makes it really easy to do that i think this is a really good camera for someone who's starting on any video creating you know with covid everybody just started making videos on youtube tiktok um um, and you know there's a lot of features for it like live cropping uh, focus transition and then it makes it a, a lot easier for you to do post-production um, edits so those are just uh, some features that I could go over really quickly if you guys want to learn more about the Panasonic Lumix make sure you guys check out the link down below all right so you guys saw that I was uh, nodding my head at the box previous to this one so I hauled that sucker all the way from the garage into the house mind you the FedEx guy had trouble um, bringing that to our front door so you guys my muscles were definitely working but by the time I got in I realized I had the wrong box um, I actually bought three of these dressers two gray ones one white one the white one for Milani and the two gray ones for the boys and so I had to go out there and haul the other one all the way, all the way in. Uh, I don't think my husband was home at this point in time, so that's why he did not help me. He was actually out and about with Milani, keeping her busy. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys really quickly what I'm doing here. I'm not going to go step by step. And then you guys saw that I did buy this dresser um, through the website that's on the previous picture. Uh, yeah, so I was actually pleasantly surprised by this dresser and how the quality of it was. Um, I definitely thought it was not going to be as great as it is, but it is. So yeah, just putting it together really quickly. You guys saw there, there was like 28 pages of instructions, but it only took me four hours to build it. So I'm actually really happy that I got a dresser and that Milani's not going to have a closet in here. Um, you guys will see that she changed quite a few times in this video on its own she goes into her closet and takes out clothes like four or five, five times maybe six times per day and it just makes a mess so I'm glad that I got the dresser and I'm gonna get like the baby proof things so that she doesn't open and close them all the time and then also so she doesn't get into that 
or into it. <laughs> Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just as. Mm -hmm. Can you touch it? So you guys will see me cleaning up and stuff and you know sweeping and putting the rug down and I don't know why because I'm just gonna make a mess later when I put all the other stuff down um, at this point the big barn door was already built but it just sat there for a little while maybe like a week or more because I was super intimidated intimidated by the hardware that I was supposed to you know put it up with and you know I had a good reason to be intimidated it was a pain in the rear but anyway let me just show you guys a little bit on how the room looks so far without putting the doors or her crib or toddler bed in there yet and I apologize in advance if I'm making you dizzy I'm not used to such a lightweight camera but so far so good I am loving it all right, so this is the opening that goes into the hallway and then out to the kitchen also. This has never had a door, um, so I did buy this 37 inch long um, by folding sliding barn door hardware. <laughs> I just read that. And then I also did get a bifold closet door, which I thought I bought the correct size, but once it came and I measured it, uh, I didn't realize that they were accounting for the hardware that comes with it originally because it does go inside of the doorway, not outside like I'm putting it. But you know me, I always come across issues, but somehow we always prevail. I had to kind of manufacture some little pieces here and there to make sure that it fit correctly. Um, it's not perfectly flush with the door. It's doesn't cover all the gaps like underneath the door and all that you guys will see but you know what <sighs> again we work with what we have and we go get over the bumps and in the end it all came out fine All right, so again, because this came with its own hardware to put it inside of the door frame, I actually had to kind of work around the holes that are already underneath the door for the track that it came with. Um, so I had to move the little, these little pieces, that's where you're going to attach, or that's where I'm going to attach um, the sliding things <laughs> for the track. You, I'm, I'm out of words. I, I feel like I worked on this so much that I just, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, so you guys can see I worked around those holes and it worked out just fine. Stay, every single day.
for the most part, this was the easiest part of assembling this. So the track was just, you know, pretty self-explanatory and you just had to make sure that it got into the studs. In case you didn't have studs or in case I didn't have studs, it does come with anchors, which I don't think I ended up using because um, everything was on there just as it needed to be. So on this part right here, I had to cut a block and screw it into the baseboard. And just to make sure that this thing it goes underneath inside of the door and that keeps it from sliding right off the track which at first we couldn't figure out why it was sliding off the track and then I realized this is why nothing's holding the door to the side um, so yeah that was an ordeal but once I figured it out it was fine uh, you know I painted it and everything and you can't really tell unless I show it to you and again I feel like this is the video where it's like if, if I don't show it to you if I don't tell you you may not notice and <laughs> that's kind of what we're going for these days uh nobody's gonna know but see how high that door is again because it's not the right size and um i'm showing you guys here that i'm put a handle on there but i have yet to put the handle on there and either way it works just fine you can open and close it from both sides of the doorway Alright, so I was really excited for this door. Originally, I was going to DIY a barn door, but I didn't want to spend the time and all that. I feel like I got a pretty good deal on this one considering the size, but once I opened it, there were some pieces that had some damage to them. I don't think it was anything that was too bad, so that's why I decided to just keep going with it. That first piece that I showed you that had like a crack like on the inside that did cause some problems towards the end of building the door uh, but again this was pretty self-explanatory it was pretty easy to put together minus that one piece that was kind of preventing us from from like connecting everything together at the end and you know I'm just kind of showing you guys like the imperfections that came with this but you know again for what it is I feel like it was a really good deal and if you guys can look past those imperfections this is probably a good door if you're looking for a barn door um, especially a barn door this size
All right, so this is a few days later. Okay, maybe a week later. I hadn't put the final pieces on it and I was debating whether I was gonna paint this or stain it. And in the end, I just ended up leaving it on like its natural color. And I felt like it was a good thing to do because this being such a small room, I didn't want it to look so dark. And then I also didn't want our living room to look super dark. So that's why I just left it the light color. And then it did come with a handle also. So I'm just marking the spots here where I'm going to put the handles. Uh, all right, let's get on to the ceiling mount bracket, which was a nightmare. So I honestly feel like every single time I do something, something goes wrong. And all right, so I got this somewhat in here, but now I came on to this bolt right here that I'm having a really hard time. See how this is like all wiggly? It's because I can't tighten it up. Tight, tighten it enough to go into the hole, which the hole looks like this. Um, it's super, super tight. And I already tried screwing it in there all the way just with this and then this tool. Um, it's super hard. My hands hurt. And these are all done. These are tight. So now I'm just like, I think I'm going to get a different type of tool so I can tighten it up more because I, I just spent all my energy. So we're going to stop it now, but this is the gist of what this track is going to look like. You see those two little holes. So this is going to be in like that into the ceiling and then these screws We'll go in here and then into the piece of wood. So hopefully some of these hit <laughs> the stud, um, but yeah, that's what we got so far. Okay, les voy a dar lo que pidieron. <laughs> Hold on. Milani, come look at your room. Ready? <laughs> Maybe in a little bit when we start putting all the storage stuff, okay? So I still have to work out the layout and see where or what's gonna go where. But there's this wall right here where I'm thinking to make her like a DIY desk area with some storage. And then I'm gonna put like a shelf up here for more storage. And then she clearly does not have a closet, but I'm actually kind of thankful for that. She does have her dresser. Most of her stuff is going to go in here. And then obviously we're going to decorate it. All right. So I'm going to close this door right here. So we put this right here so it doesn't come out from the bottom. And then it has the track at the bottom there so it doesn't come out. And yeah, this was a whole, a whole thing. It was a big ordeal, but it's on the episode of nobody's gonna know so if I don't point it out and if you know you don't look close enough you may not notice what's not right about this the 
trying to find the studs was ridiculous. But anyway, you guys already saw that. Um, so here's what that's going to look like. A gigantic mess still. Like, I still have to clean up stuff. Yeah, you can kind of see her in there a little bit. Yeah, baby. I'll be right there. So I did put that latch right there. Okay. And then this one. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh. I like my bed. You like your bed? Yeah, okay, like you want me to turn the light off? Yep. There we go. Are you going to sleep? Yeah. <laughs> Can you turn the, the light off? All of it? All right, let's turn it off. <gasps> oh, girl. is it for today's video thank you guys so much for joining me once again if you did enjoy this video make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up leave me your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe see you guys on the next one bye